Hi! In this part of tutorial, we will get data from Google Firebase and display it on our Angular application. I will do it with new component and uh, this new component will do all which we need. To create new component, we need to go to Angular CLI Tools Integrated Terminal. We will run commands ng like uh, globally component and pages list this creates a new folder pages list in CRC app directory we have pages list which contain basically which should have every component CSS, HTML, SpecTS and TS. And here we are going to import Angular Fire. Database from Angular Fire to database and also let's connect here import observable uh, if you don't know about observables this is the first thing which you need to learn uh, if you would like to know angular uh, from Angular 2, it's most important part of Angular applications. And without this, without RxJS and the observables, it's cost nothing. So observable from RxJS and observables. Okay. And our selector, let's change it to pages list and also as we already have observable here, we can connect observable um, and create a variable of observable. For example, pages observable variable which is observable and uh, any and it's array okay and uh, to fill this we need to also include in constructor some variable which will be private which will be a DB of Angular Firebase database and as we already have it in the constructor we can go to init and say this pages observable equal to this get pages which we will define now and we will get pages uh, this is a function get pages which is getting uh, this part And it's uh, observable of any array and should return this as we already have db here and list. Let's list what we pass it to this 
function list path. And here we have uh, methods of Angular Fire database and failure changes. Okay, let's close terminal, we don't need it now. So, what we have done? Here we are injecting the Angular Fire database service in the class constructor. Class contains method get pages, which takes the database path as parameter. An observable for a list of pages is database is retrieving by calling the list method of Angular Fire database object. Passing in the database path and calling the method value changes. And the method get pages is used within ng init to retrieve observable for a path of pages. The observable is stored in a class property as a page observable. And uh, pages observable method is used to access data in the template code in uh, file pages list component HTML. So here we just can do something like like this. Let's remove it and create ul and create a let's create a div and here we just can uh, loop for for our variable which we have already ng4 and equal to let page of pages observable and here we should use a uh, sync which will get all this information asynchronous okay and now we just can do something like this we can have a h3 have also p And let's do also create one div which will contain a. Okay, just uh, here we will display page dot title. And in P we will display page description and in A we can just do ref to page URL. And let's just do go to page. Okay. So we have pages observable with all information which we need, and we just can use this selector in our application to get. All this information to get uh, the structure and get these variables and everything from database. So let's go to app component HTML and let's just remove this part and do pages list. And when we do some changes and save it, our application Angular is refreshing everything. You don't need to go to page and refresh it, 
it's doing everything automatically. Let's check if we have some error here. And we can also inspect it and see which kind of error we have. Angular file database. Uh, no provider for Angular database. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we have Angular file database, but we should have Angular file database model. It's refreshing. And we are getting cannot read property database URL. Okay, so why? We need to go to our database, go to rules, and see permissions. And for rules, we see that only author can read and write, but we need to allow to read anonymous. Just to publish, so it can't find property database URL of undefined. I think it can't find just a connection with our environment where we have defined a database, and first property which it is trying to find is database URL. So let's go and check it. Mm. We are initializing up from environment database and we have imported from oh okay environment environments let's save it cool we have everything here already so this information is coming from uh, angular fire and we have all fields here and our application now connected with Firebase. In next tutorial I will show you how to connect our application to authentication. So we will be able to log in to our application using authentication provided by Firebase. Have a nice day! And see you soon. Bye.